if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 20 of the West Ham Career Mode series here on FIFA 16. This is the second season of course, Pedro Obiang wants to discuss wages but as we saw yesterday, can't offer him any because we've spent almost every single penny that was available to us. So today our new signing will uh, be taking part in the first game of the episode against Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, we've got five games until Man City so I'm kind of pushed for time today so I'm going to do two games today then three games tomorrow and then the Capital One Cup final will be a, uh, a one-off full commentary for the uh, you know a kind of a one video special for the Capital One Cup final because you want to give it a little bit of uh, special treatment because it's the chance to win some silverware and what would be our first silverware of this season. Who was it we actually have drawn in the cup? Queen's Park Rangers. An easier draw, not the easiest of draws, but we'll have to wait and see how we get on against uh, Sheffield Wednesday here. Hopefully, could be a comfortable game. We'll have to wait and see. Everybody's fully fit again. So uh, we'll start new striking signing Daniel Sturridge up top with uh, Barkley and in the recent window, new signing Jeffrey Kondogbia at central defensive midfield as well. Pleased with how this squad is growing and improving throughout the entirety of uh, this series so far. It's just a shame that not many people, in fact only uh, Madrazo, went out on loan of the youngsters. I tried to get as many of the kids out on loan as possible, but sadly uh, they nobody wanted to take them. So in actual fact, because it's Sheffield Wednesday, I might start a couple of the kids in this one. Let's actually give Reese Oxford a game and uh, we will play Weigel at Cam. Cool, and then we'll throw Weigel in at Cam and we'll put Brown out on the right-hand side as well because he's done well recently too. Or Atkinson. No, Brown's been pretty good. So we'll play Brown again. I'm tempted actually to... I'll put him on the bench. We'll put Arangoa on the bench as well and we'll also do the same with uh, young Shock. Uh, apparently really good 57-rated striker uh, Galano, Galeno as well. It's, I keep saying Galano. It's not. It's not Galano. It's Galeno. The A and E is after the L, not before. But anyway, let's jump into the game against Sheffield Wednesday. Now, unfortunately, it's foggy, but never mind. We'll still do our best. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't to this point, and we'll jump straight in. Smedo down the right. I actually, use Reese Oxford here instead. Sturridge just drops nicely here. We'll try and get the turn in and then get it on his left, maybe. First shot for Daniel Sturridge. Oh, and a West Ham shirt. He draws a good save out of Kieran Westwood. Nicely done, Studge. Uh, who's that waiting on the edge of the box? Now, let's put it into the box. Actually, to the near post, because there's Reese Oxford, but he just started to back away towards the uh, the far post as I took the corner, which is a shame. But that's a good cross, and Sunny could be underneath it. Lackman can only put it out for another corner to West Ham United. Dominating the opening stages now, there's a bit more space there to put it back to your man on the edge of the box. Oh, it's, it's Reed of though. Why does it have to be a centre back? Into Art oh, and Titi to the other centre back, and then to Reese Oxford. We'll try the shot from distance, and it's wide of the post. Oh, lovely ball into Forestieri. And Zell's played it around the corner. This is this will be a great goal. He's gone down, nothing given. Question whether that was a penalty or did he go down too lightly? I'm not sure. Weigel's been caught on it by Zhao in the middle. What a little intricate move that was from Sheffield Wednesday. I didn't expect that from them going forwards. And th thankfully, Alisson's going to come across to claim this. Wednesday have started very brightly, actually. They've been a decent side so far. I can't remember what the score was against them last time we played them. We've definitely played them before, but I can't remember whether we beat them or whether we drew or lost. I'm pretty sure we didn't lose, but we may have drawn against them. I honestly can't remember. I'm sure you guys will remind me in the comment section down below. But hopefully we can build on that one Sturridge chance earlier on and try and get ourselves in front sooner rather than later Barry Bannon, Barry Bannon nice touch to get it around the corner into Forestieri across to Zhao there's the shot straight down the throat of the goalkeeper we'll try and quickly get it up towards the front line so the opportunity for a counter attack decent first touch by Sturge we'll lay this back to Kondogbia quickly get it to Sturridge again gets it away from the defender Sturridge had a very positive introduction here in a West Ham shirt so far really pleased with him to this point and or not very pleased with that pass from Brown Weigel to Sané, get it back to Weigl, Sturridge just drifted offside there, so we had to delay the pass, now we'll dink it looking for, oh, it's gone to Sturridge, that was meant for uh, the man in the, down the line, but Sturridge is inside, Sturridge with a shot, Kieran Westwood is apparently <laughs> determined not to let Daniel Sturridge get a debut goal, it's going to be Riedewald on the edge of the box again, isn't it, that sucks, first touch, oh my god, was awful. Dobia, Weigl, Sturridge made a good run, he's in behind again, this time Daniel Sturridge maybe on his right, wide, 
Three glorious opportunities for Sturridge to get a debut goal, and he's missed them all so far. Semedo will go out wide to Sané. I'll try and drop a shoulder. There we go. Nice little footwork to get down the line. Maybe turn inside the second defender as well. Oh, good tackle by Palmer. But we've gotten a free kick. Sané hopefully will get up. And he is good. Right, Jefferson to take the free kick. We'll just dink it into the box. Maybe Reese Oxford can get on the end of it. Someone's going to get there. I think it was Sané. In the end, it comes off a defender. It's gone out for a corner. We've had so many corners in this game so far. But we haven't been able to find a way past their goalkeeper. But we might still. No, Wiggins clears that one away. Another corner to West Ham United. Jeeps. Chances for Sturridge and corners. That's This is our fifth corner of the game so far. All keepers come, not got there. That's looping in. I've no idea who cleared that. It's going to drop to Weigel on the edge of the box. And the shot comes in. No, it doesn't because Lee gets there first. Wow. I don't know who headed that towards goal, but it very nearly went over the line. Unfortunately for us, though, uh, they were able to clear it. It's the closest we've come so far. Nathan Redmond can make the run in behind here. And I'll try and slot it through to him. Galeno plays the pass. We'll use the youngster again. Uh, oh, there's Condobia quickly to Reese Oxford. Could look for Sturridge. Could go down. Reese Oxford's still going. And the shot blocked by Lackman. We've just not been able to take our chances in this game, which has been really, really frustrating. Sturridge has had three great opportunities, but uh, two of them were well saved, and the other one on his right foot went wide, as you saw earlier on. And it looks as if we're going to get a nil-nil draw here against Sheffield Wednesday. So despite all of the pressure we've had, all of the corners, all of the chances on goal, it looks like it's going to be a nil-nil draw as uh, things stand right now. We have seconds remaining, and Redmond's first touch was awful. And that's probably going to let the result slip or confirm that the result is going to slip past us. So a point against Sheffield Wednesday, not what we wanted from that one, to be honest. Pleased that Stowe's joined the team and had chances, but we'll have to hope that he takes them next time around. Into game two. Semedo, if someone can just drop short like Kondogbia there, we can try and get some interlinking passing going. It's not worked too well so far. Stowe looks like he wants to come deep, get the ball. We'll try... Oh, I tried to do a little bit of skill there, but it didn't work. But Stowe is still with a shot, and it's a good save. Our first chance of the game here against Stoke after 20 minutes or so. They've been just as difficult to break down as Sheffield Wednesday. It's been clear to see this season that after a good season last year where people maybe underestimated us, a lot of sides, especially here at home, have just come to uh, Upton Park, shut up shop, and tried to get a point if they can. Maybe try and sneak it on the, uh, the counter-attack. But people are playing very defensive against us. And uh, it's been a struggle to break them down, which is why we're not necessarily having as successful a season as we were last year. Although that said, we're still in the top four. We've gone further in the domestic cup competitions than we did last year. And we're involved in the Champions League knockouts as well. So we're still not necessarily having, a, or definitely not having an unsuccessful season by any stretch. So we have to kind of take everything into account when uh, assessing how... Uh, you know how we're doing in this second season I am pleased with the progress of the squad the transfers we've made in this second season or well, in January of this second season have proven to be pretty good so far Kondogbia has been much better for me already in like three games than uh, Imbula was for the majority of the time that he was with us and uh, Daniel Sturridge in the one game that he played for us earlier on despite not scoring I feel more comfortable with him than I ever did with Berahino throughout his six months at the club as well. So, fingers crossed, that can continue and it won't be long before we get ourselves in front in this game here at home at Upton Park against the Potters. And Zini turns inside. He's in the box. I don't know where to go, though. Who do we pass the ball to? There's Sturridge at the back post. Take a touch. On his right, there's the shot. Straight at Butland. Sturridge, get the turn in. Lay it across to Barkley. Sturridge could make that run again, although there's a lot of Stoke men back here they, like we said earlier on been playing very defensively as everybody has against us so far this season Antonio with a shot that's blocked we'll pick this up with Noble quickly try and get it across to Jefferson Antonio looks like he wants to make the move down the line but you can see just how many Stokes are so there sat back in a defensive uh, scenario and then they spring on us and then everybody sprints forward I think it's going to be a case of trying to let them maybe even letting them counter on me because they're not keeping the ball very well if I let them counter on me then I can counter their counter, perhaps, when they've uh, got some players out of position at the back, and maybe that will help us get in front. Oriana. Oh, lovely ball out wide. Shakiri will keep this in as well. Antonio trying to close him down. Shakiri finds Oriana on the edge of the box. Good tackle by Kondobia right now. Can we break on them the same way they've been breaking on me all game long? Antonio's going to run here. Afloy is fresh on the pitch, so he's got the legs to be able to cope with it. But Sturridge could get this round the corner, perhaps to Man Manuel Lanzini. Tackled by Moha. Oh, it's been such a frustrating couple of games to play this. Just can't get the chances 
to, uh, to you know the clear cut chances to make sure that you know you're guaranteed to score a goal. Mohar down the left for Stoke. Don't tell me they're going to try and keep it in the corner in the 78th minute. That would just be ridiculous. Look at how part of the bus they are. They've got the ball in my box and there was like seven players not even in my half. It's been so frustrating to play against Stoke today and Sheffield Wednesday as well because everyone's just going so defensive against me. We're, being a, we're a victim of our own success right now, I guess is the phrase to use. Jefferson could squeeze that through to Studge, who's going to hold off the man, get the turn in, and then oh, not get the shot in, because there's too many defenders back there. Look at all the Stoke players. They're all within 40 yards of their own goal, and now they're not even trying to try and break away at all either. Mohar might try and sprint for the corner. Oh, Sometimes you just you wish you, uh, you weren't such a good side, so that sides actually try to attack you, and then uh, you might be able to you know pick them off, but... Unfortunately, everybody seems to be playing the defensive model against us recently. And these two games we've played today have been difficult, I think is the, phrase, the word I should use. They've just been difficult. Lanzini picks that off. But again, I've got no options, no forward options on to pass because there's just a Stoke player in the way everywhere. Give this to Jefferson. He'll come forward. Antonio's got space now down the left. We'll look to get the cross in, which we will. Sturry's is at the back post, but he can't win the head of it. It's only going to drop as far as Condogbio, who gets a good turn in. Noble gets the turn, and the shot on the left foot, but it's blocked by Afolai. <sighs> I tried to make a change 15 in-game minutes ago, and that's the first time the ball has gone out since then. I made two changes. Ben Yedda's come on for Barkley, and I brought on Obiang for uh, for Kondogbia, but Samedo's going to win this, hopefully, and he has done. Obiang, get it through there. There's Umtiti. Get it to Sturridge. No, that's Lanzini. No, I can't squeeze it to Sturridge. <sighs> I'm just so, 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 like... Please, nothing has fallen for me in today's episode, unfortunately. A draw against Sheffield Wednesday and a frustrating draw against Stoke. Wednesday we had the chances, we just weren't quite clinical enough. The goalkeeper was in good form. And this one, I just couldn't create anything. Two chances for me, one for Stoke, and that was it. Sometimes, Legendary throws a game or two at you that is just... Oh, it just makes you need to just take a deep breath, calm down move forward and try and, try and play better football next time out. We've got a, an FA Cup game against QPR next, and then Barcelona, and then Bournemouth. So at the start of tomorrow's episode, we'll play QPR with a rotated side, so we can play a strong 11 against Barca, and then we'll should be able to play a pretty strong side against Bournemouth, and then obviously we'll have the Capital One Cup the episode after that as a one-off special. But that's going to be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel as well. If you haven't to this point, we passed 135,000 subscribers a couple of days ago, which is fantastic. Thank you very much for that. But for now, I'll see you next time.